I think the story was called Why Wu-Tang is only releasing one copy of its secret album. And I just remember by the, by the end of that night, I mean, it was, it was pretty clear to me that this, this was like a huge freaking story. And this was not just some kind of quirky, random, interesting thing. This was a thing that was captivating the entire world. Finally, they ended up hiring this company to auction it off. It was sitting there uh, in a vault, basically, waiting to be sold to a single buyer uh, to never be reproduced again and put it back with the, with the fine arts, like, like, you know, Renaissance style. And after a while, the word finally came down that the person who was gonna buy the album was a guy by the name of Martin Shkreli. And the price was $2 million. He got in the hands of Shkreli. And that's when everything just kicked off. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to f with. And, you know, here comes Martin Shkreli, and what does he do? He f with the Wu-Tang Clan. I met Martin Shkreli uh, for the first time at a, um, an office building somewhere on the east side of Manhattan. Uh, my friend who recommended Shkreli to me, he said, this could be an interesting client for you. Um, he's either going to be the next Steve Jobs of the pharmaceutical industry, uh, or he could wind up in prison. Uh, and uh, both scenarios intrigued me. Turns out, uh, what seems to have happened was that Martin Shkreli had put in this bid and won the Wu-Tang Clan album, but had not come forward yet. And in the intervening time, he, he starts to do all this nefarious business. When I heard about, for the first time, about this drug doing a 5,000% increase, immediately got my attention, like, whoa, what are they doing? Who, who's doing this? As an HIV activist, anything that kind of comes against our community, we're gonna, you know, raise help for you. I think activists, we have the power to remind people that it's a 5,000% price hike, and that's insane. Just an avalanche of um, screaming, poisonous outrage. So it's just this mob of attention, like a fire hydrant being pulled from the plug and, that, and all was, it was flames. Just when you think this story, it's just this kind of like PR debacle and you know, it's gonna go away. It's revealed that the buyer of this secret album that you know, the Wu-Tang Clan has spent six years developing, this one piece of artwork that's gonna change the way that music is consumed for forever, is Martin Shkreli, the most hated man in America.